for today's tutorial, I'm going to show you the stitches that we're going to be using. So you need to grab your piece of felt. I'm just using a piece of scrap green and I'm going to use a bright yellow. Normally I would try to match it, but I want you to be able to see the stitches that I'm going to do. And this thread that I'm using, is actually called embroidery floss. So it's a lot thicker than your typical sewing machine thread. And I'm going to be using a needle. It's a decent size, nice and long. It has a decently big opening for the eye. The opening is called the eye. And so that'll make it easy for me to thread my string through, but it also needs to be thin enough for my beads. The beads I'm using look like this, and you always want to test it before you before you start. Does it go through? It does. It goes through nice and easy. And an example of a needle that wouldn't work is this one. This one's got a much larger eye, and this bead, it gets stuck. It doesn't go, so that will, will not work. You can use smaller needles as well, but those are a lot harder to thread your string. And so to begin, we need to thread our needles. Sometimes I gotta retwist it up, or sometimes you do have to trim it to get it through, or easier, use a needle threader. I do not have one with me today. Doing it the old-fashioned way. There we go. It's on and then pull it through. Like so. And you'll need to do a double knot on the end. And to, to make a double knot, if you've not seen my other videos, I'll show you here. You make a loop and you put the tail through the loop and pull. And you'll want to do it twice make a loop, put the tail through the hole, and pull and try to make them line up right on top of each other. So it makes it nice and big. Now the first stitch I'm going to show you is just how to add a bead. So you'll come up from the back of your piece and pull your thread all the way through. You don't want to leave any extra tail. You want to bring it right to that knot. Then you thread your bead on all the way down to where it meets your material. And then you're going to take your needle and you're going to punch back down, not in the same hole, but right next to it. See how it's right next to it? And pull down. And that's how you attach your bead. The next stitch is called a running stitch, also can be known as a straight stitch and that is going to go in a straight line. So we're gonna punch up from the back and we're going to go over about that far. I'll call that our stitch length. And you're gonna punch straight back down. And there's one stitch. Then you're going to come up from the back about the same distance, one stitch length, punch up, and do the same, punch back down. Now these are actually kind of big. You can make them smaller if you'd like. Punch up. And we'll make it a little bit smaller, punch back down. And then this size is a good size for the project we're working on today. And I'll do a few more. Now what you'll notice, what I'm not doing is pulling really tight. See how it scrunches that all up? You wanna keep it nice and flat. And the other thing I'm not doing is I'm not punching and going way out here. See how big, if I went way out there, see how big that stitch would be? Way too big for what we're doing. Punching back down. I'll do a few more. Punch down. All right, so I'm going to show you how to tie it off as well because we'll have to do that a few times during this project. So on the back, you can see it almost looks the same on the back. 
So to tie it off, we're going to grab just a little bit of the felt or you can grab underneath one of your last stitches and pull your string through. Then you're gonna take your needle and you're going to go through that loop. See how it kind of creates a knot? But we gotta do it again because that's not secured yet. And go through that loop. Put our needle through the loop right here. And then we can give a nice pull and it creates a knot and to be safe you can do it one more time and there it is and then you trim your string and those are the stitches we're doing today or adding beads and doing a running or straight stitch all right let's get started so we are making these cute little stuffed mice. Aren't they so cute? So to make these, I'm gonna show you the supplies we need. And you can find the whole list in the description below, as well as the link to the pattern, because for this project, we're using a pattern. And the pattern includes the shape of a body, the shape of the face, and the ears. So once you get the pattern printed out, you'll first need to cut it out. And we'll set this aside. The next supply you'll need is you will need a needle, like the one I showed just earlier. You will need, I have them in my little tin here, don't want to lose them, two beads for the eyes and one bead for the nose. We'll need coordinating thread or string. The mouse I'm making today is gonna to be purple. A pair of scissors. And of course, your felt to make the mouse. So let's begin. All right, so we'll put everything aside except for our first piece of felt and our scissors and our pattern. So if we're going to follow the same as this little mouse, I'm going to use the light purple to cut out the face. Now you just need one of those. So this piece is the face. And you will need some kind of marking tool, I didn't forget to mention that, like a pen or a pencil. And you're going to trace your pattern on your felt. my pen works. There we go, it's starting to work now. Sometimes felt can be tricky to draw on. We got it? We do. All right. Then we'll cut it out. rough cut and then go back and smooth out those edges and actually I need to turn my scissors my scissors you can't really tell they have a slight curve to them so holding them the correct way is important there we go and then I'll turn it over and still kind of see some of the marks so we'll turn it over and this will be our face. Next, we're gonna cut out the body and the ears. Now you need two body pieces and of course you need two ears. And we're going to do that with the dark purple.
did it and we did. Now I could trace this twice. But I am actually gonna do another thing. So this, you can see there's actually a flat edge. So to make it easier on myself, I'm gonna line that flat edge with the flat edge of the felt. I'm actually gonna come down a little bit and I'm gonna show you why. I like to work smarter, not harder. So I'm actually going to fold my felt in half. And that way I cut out two identical pieces at the same time. And if you need to, you can actually take your needle and use it as a pin to hold the stitch, the thing in place. And cut out the body pieces. Trim up this side. There we go. And now I have my two body pieces. So my two body pieces, my face, and last thing to cut out is my ears. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to keep it folded so I can cut both out at the same time. And those are all the pieces that we cut out for our mouse. So before we do any other things with this dark purple, we are going to put our face on our mouse. So you can, with your pen, mark where you want the eyes. Like so. And then the nose will, of course, just go right down the bottom. What we need to do next is we need to thread our needle. So the first thing we're going to be stitching is the light purple. So you need to grab your thread that matches the face of your mouse and thread it on your needle. Tie a double knot at the end. Like so. All right, you need one body piece to begin. And you need to find the part that matches the head. So the curve matches the head right there. And actually I see my, my, my drawing right there. So I'm actually going to turn this around that way any marks are now hidden on the inside. And I'm going to stitch my head to the top body part. This is also where we're going to add our ears. Okay, our ears will be stitched along on the back. But I'll show you when I get to that. So to get started, going to come up from the back right along the edge of my face and pull my string all the way through and we're going to do the stitch that we just learned the running stitch and we're going to stitch all the way up the side of the face so you go back 
back down. About a stitch length over, come back up. And go down. So we're up the side of our mouse face. Now this is where we're gonna wanna add our ear. You're going to hold it in the back, or if you want, you could even tuck it in there. We'll tuck it in there. Might be easier to hold. Okay, see how that's in there? I'm gonna hold on to the ear. And your thread is already in the back, so I'm gonna try to do this. I'm going to come up through the back like you did over here and that way and then you're going through all three layers this purple piece the ear and the face and you're going to stitch continue your running stitch up to here and that's when you will then add your second set of ear and continue all the way around and when you get there I will meet you there as well As you can see I already have my eyes drawn in if you haven't done that go ahead and draw your eyes we're actually gonna just use the same thread to put our eyes and our nose on if you want you can change the color you would just need to tie off your thread right here which I'm still going to tie it off as you can see it looks like I actually went up through my knot so I'm gonna tie this off but I'm not gonna cut cut it it a little extra security. Oop. Went too far on that one. I gotta do it again. So my thread is still attached. I'm going to do my eyes and my nose. And since I'm down here already, I'm going to do my nose first. So you're going to punch your needle up and you're going to add the bead that you had picked out for your nose. Mine's a little pink bead. And just as before I showed, you're going to bring your needle back down really close to where you punched it up. You have a little nose. Now we are going to do a long stretch of a stitch. So let me punch it up through the mark that I made for my eye. And then I'll show you on the back. This is where you gotta make sure you, it's a long stitch. You don't wanna pull it, you wanna keep it. These will be hidden on the inside, so you won't see them. And then this is where I will add my bead for the eye. Like so, and then I'll do one more. I'm over here in the back. I'm gonna come over to this side up and add my second bead for the eye. And there they are. And if you did that, you can tie off your thread and cut it. So we're going to tie this off. Make our loop, bring our needle through it, gently pull and then do that at least one more time two more times if you really want to and pull and then trim 
and that is the front of our little mouse. Very cute. So the next step would be to re-thread your needle. So take off the thread that you have if you're trying to match colors. This was the darkest purple I had, so it is going to show a little bit, but that's okay. So you need to thread your needle with your next color string and then tie a double knot on the end, just like before. need to see how they match. Because you cut them out together, they should match perfectly. Like that. And if you have a pin, a clip, or another needle, that comes in handy here. I'm going to use another needle that I have, and I'm going to pin the two together like I did when I was cutting them. And that just holds them in place for me. A little easier. So we are going to start sewing down here. And we're going to go all all the way around to right here. When you get up in here, you're not going to punch through the front piece. You're going to punch up just inside it. You see how there's like a little layer right there? See that? I'll show you when I get there. But for now, I'm going to start right here and I'm, I'll sew right up to here and I'll meet you there. is in the back so I'm going to punch up from the back but I'm not gonna punch up through that f that light fabric I'm going to kind of come you see that how it's just behind it and the same goes for when you punch back down so I like to kind of just fold that down and punch down so you won't really see these stitches from the front I'm gonna punch up these will be hidden. Now, if you want them to be in the front, you go ahead. It's your project, make it your own. But for those, if you don't want it to show, I'm showing you how. You can kind of see them in there. So I'm still punching up from the back and I'm catching all the layers. But instead of going through the face, I'm going just behind it. And then you will do that on this side as well. And I will meet you when you get down to here. here you want to make sure you still have that little hole down at the bottom now I'm going to take my needle out and what this hole is for is for two things first which I forgot to mention when I was describing the materials you need something to stuff it with now what I have here is called fiber fill it's what you find inside your teddy bears but if you don't have this you can actually use the scraps that you have of material from cutting. And you can also use cotton balls, but I'm going to use what's called fiber fill today. And you don't need a lot because these are really small. The other thing you're going to need is if you noticed on this little guy, he has a tail. Now there's no pattern for it. You just need to cut out a long piece kind of in the shape of a triangle, however long you want it. So 
And let me cut that out from my piece of felt that I have here. my guy's little tail. So you still have your needle attached. Just set it off to the side and you'll gently stuff your mouse. This little tutorial would work nice as well if you happen to have some catnip and you have cats and want to make a toy for them. You can stuff some catnip down in here as well. And if your cat loves it, they'll have a field day. So you see he's a little bulgier. And now we'll take our tail and we're gonna just insert that right up in there, a good portion. And then we're going to finish stitching along the bottom to close it up. So the same stitches, same running stitches, just holding that tail in place. Make sure you catch it. And I put my, my tail probably goes right up to here. So I know that I'm catching it in my stitches. There's no worry that it will fall out. And I'm on my last stitch. I go to the back and then I will tie it off. So I'll flip it over and there's no, what I'm gonna do because it's puffier actually going to make a little stitch see how it goes through the felt just a little bit it doesn't go to the front it just stays on the back and that's how I'm going to make my loop to tie it off so I'll go through my loop pull tight and I'll do that again go through just the top layer of my felt go through the loop of my thread and pull now you could cut it here but what, what's really nice is you will insert your needle and poke it all the way to the other side. See how it comes out? And pull your thread through that way. Give it a little tug, a little tension, and then you cut it, then you kind of pull it out. And you know what? Now your thread is hidden inside your mouse. And there you have it. You have just made yourself a little stuffed mouse. Can you imagine all the other animals you could make? All you have to do is draw out the pieces and make your own patterns. We have our little mice. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed making these little mice. You can check out all the other videos on my YouTube channel and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.